Rated M for Mature. Sky above, voice within. Your training proceeds well, Dragonborn. Where did you learn of that? Who have you been talking to? The Blades, of course. They specialize in meddling in matters they barely understand. Their reckless arrogance knows no bounds. They have always sought to turn the Dragonborn from the path of wisdom. Have you learned nothing from us? Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the Blades to be used for their own purposes? No, no, of course not. Forgive me, Dragonborn. I have been intemperate with you. But heed my warning. The Blades may say they serve the Dragonborn, but they do not. They never have. No, I cannot teach it to you, because I do not know it. It is called Dragonrend, but its words of power are unknown to us. We do not regret this loss. Dragonrend holds no place within the way of the voice. It was created by those who had lived under the unimaginable cruelty of Alduin's dragon cult. Their whole lives were consumed with hatred for dragons, and they poured all their anger and hatred into this shout. When you learn a shout, you take it into your very being. In a sense, you become the shout. In order to learn and use this shout, you will be taking this evil into yourself. Only Parthenax, the master of our order, can answer that question, if he so chooses. He lives in seclusion on the very peak of the mountain. He speaks to us only rarely, and never to outsiders. Being allowed to see him is a great privilege. Only those whose voice is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to Parthenax. to pop that slides through this gate. I will show you how to open the way. Understanding of clear skies. This is your final gift from us, Dragonborn. Use it well.
course is perilous, not to be embarked upon lightly. Keep moving, stay focused on your goal, and you will reach the summit. Lead on, I'm behind you. I'll keep watch from here. Greetings, Wundunik. I am Parthenax. Who are you? What brings you to my Strunmach, my mountain? Yes, Vaza. You speak true, Dovakin. Forgive me. It has been long since I held Tinvak with a stranger. I gave in to the temptation to prolong our speech. Evenar Balok, there are many hungers it is better to deny than to feed. Drechni Nakib, discipline against the lesser, aids in Kahnar, denial of the greater. Tell me, why do you come here, Volan? Why do you intrude on my meditation? Hmm. Drem, patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the Dove. By long tradition, the Elder speaks first. Hear my thum. Feel it in your bones. Match it if you are Dovahkiin. The dragon blood runs strong in you. It is long since I had the pleasure of speech with one of my own kind. So, you have made your way here to me. No easy task for a jaw, mortal. Even for one of Dova Sauce, dragon blood. What would you ask of me? Ah, 
I have expected you, Proda. You would not come all this way for Tinvak with an old Dova. No, you seek your weapon against Alduin. Krosis. Sorrowfully, no. It cannot be known to me. Your kind, Jor, mortals, created it as a weapon against the Dove, the Dragons. Our Hadrime, our minds, cannot even comprehend its concepts. Drem, all in good time. First, a question for you. Why do you want to learn this, Thum? Yes, Alduin, Zembach, the elder brother, gifted, grasping, and troublesome, as is so often the case with Firstborn. But why? Why must you stop Alduin? Ruzha, as good a reason as any. There are many who feel as you do, although not all. Some would say that all things must end so that the next can come to pass. Perhaps this world is simply the egg of the next Kalpa, Lean Vokin? Would you stop the next world from being born? Paz, a fair answer. Rofus, maybe you only balance the forces that work to quicken the end of this world. Even we who ride the currents of time cannot see past time's end. Wulsetid los trahodis. Those who try to hasten the end may delay it. Those who work to delay the end may bring it closer. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. Croesus. Now, I will answer your question. Hmm. Do you know why I live here, at the peak of the Monaven, what you name Throat of the World? This is the most sacred mountain in Skyrim, Zokravakstruma, the great mountain of the world. Here, the ancient tongues, the first mortal masters of the voice, brought Alduin to battle and defeated him. Yes and no, Viknuznikaron. Alduin was not truly defeated either. If he was, you would not be here today seeking to defeat him. The Nords of those days used the Dragonrend shout to cripple Alduin, but this was not enough. Ok Mulag Unslad. It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. Not intentionally. Some hoped he would be gone forever, forever lost. Maye. I knew 
better. Teed bo amativ. Time flows ever onward. One day, he would surface. Which is why I have lived here. For thousands of mortal years, I have waited. I knew where he would emerge, but not when. Tid Krent. Time was shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin. If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Teed Ahran, the Time Wound, with the Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to cast yourself back to the other end of the break. You could learn Dragonrend, from those who created it. Krosis, no. I know little of what has passed below in the long years I have lived here. You are likely better informed than I. Trust your instincts, Dovahkiin. Your blood will show you the way. I cannot tell you in detail. I never heard it used. Kogan. It was the first thum created solely by mortals. It was said to force a dragon to experience the concept of mortality. A truly von Mindoran. Incomprehensible idea to the immortal Dove. I have taught the way of the voice for centuries, and the Thum since long before that. But no, Dovahkiin. Others do not come here to train anymore. Saran, you are the first in over a hundred years. I meditate on the Rotmulag, the words of power. I counsel in their use. It is enough for me. Knowing a word of power is to take its meaning into yourself. Contemplate the meaning of a Rotmulag. You will become closer to that word as it fills your inner self. Will I teach you, Dovahkiin? What word calls you to deeper understanding? There are three to master. Fus, Faim, and Yol. In your tongue, the word simply means fire. It is change given form, power at its most primal. That is the true meaning of Yol. Solyek, power, you have it, as do all Dove. But power is inert without action and choice. Think of this as the fire builds in your Sum, in your breath. Sum Ark Mora. What will you burn? What will you spare? Drem your look, greetings. Sum Ark Mora.
Whenever you're ready to leave, I will walk alongside you. So, you spoke to Parthenax. The dragon blood burns bright within you. Did he tell you what you wanted to know? Did he teach you the dragon wren to shout? Well, so be it. If he believes it is necessary for you to learn this, we will bow to his wisdom. We have never concerned ourselves with the scrolls. The gods themselves would rightly fear to tamper with such things. As for where to find it, such blasphemies have always been the stock and trade of the mages of Winterhold. They may be able to tell you something about the Elder Scroll you seek. Perhaps not, but this shout was used once before, was it not? And here we are again. Have you considered that Alduin was not meant to be defeated? Those who overthrew him in ancient times only postponed the day of reckoning. They did not stop it. If the world is meant to end, so be it. Let it end and be reborn. You have learned so much already, Dragonborn. Growing your gift too quickly would be dangerous. But there are many words of power in Skyrim, carved in the dragon tongue. Even from here, we can feel the thun resonate from them. Finding these lost words would be a sufficient test to temper your abilities with experience. Ask when you are ready to search. Breath and focus. Cross the bridge at your own peril. The way is dangerous and the gate will not open. You shall not gain entry. I am here to assist those seeking the wisdom of the college. And if, in the process, my presence helps to deter those who might seek to do harm, so be it. The more important question is, why are you here? Perhaps, but what is it you expect to find within? Do you? It is true, there are some here who have spent years studying the accumulated knowledge of the scrolls. But what you seek does not come easily, and can destroy those without a strong will. It would seem that the college has what you seek. The question now is what can you offer the college? Not just anyone is allowed inside. Those wishing to enter must show some degree of skill with magic. A small test, if you will. 
You know, I think you're right. I think you'll be a superb addition to the college. Welcome, apprentice. I'll lead you across the bridge. Once you're inside, you'll want to speak with Mirabelle Irvine, our master wizard. Please, follow me. I believe I've made myself rather clear. Yes, of course. I'm simply trying to understand the reasoning behind the decision. You may be used to the Empire bowing to your every whim, but I'm afraid you'll find it bowing. I have many important things. Your concerns are not among. Are you quite sure we need to be speaking? I care little for idle conversation. But perhaps you need help with conjuration magic. You've been spinning. To oblivion and back, as they say. Calm down. Why are you overreacting? I was going to ask if two of you are collaborating on research. Oh, well, uh, I'm sorry. Yes, we have been working on something together. This is why I avoid being social. some steel if you want to fight me. To oblivion and back, as they say. There are few places where one can pursue my type of work without fear of persecution. I'm working on some very important research, I assure you. That incident in Morthal was just a misunderstanding. No matter what the guards claim. Now, just to follow, friend. Well, let me know if you need anything. What's that? Oh, yes, yes, thank you. I will. Something the people of Skyrim have no appreciation for what we do here. Not that I care. It revealed to me on its own, in due time. So, you don't need anything, then? 
Oh, my dear Urag, you're trying so hard to help. I do hope you're not disappointed. You are now in the Arcanium, of which I am in charge. It might as well be my own little plane of oblivion. Disrupt my Arcanium, and I will have you torn apart by angry Atronox. Now, do you require assistance? I'm busy right now, Greg. Well then, fine. A mage is only as good as what he knows. I try to make sure as much knowledge is available as possible. We've been keeping this collection since the Second Era. Books have come and gone during that time, but it's mostly intact. And what do you plan to do with it? Do you even know what you're asking about? Or are you just someone's errand boy? You think that even if I did have one here, I would let you see it? It would be kept under the highest security. The greatest thief in the world wouldn't be able to lay a finger on it. What about... Wait, are you... Were you the one the Greybeards were calling? I'll bring everything we have on them, but it's not much. So don't get your hopes up. It's mostly lies, leavened with rumor and conjecture. Until next time. Here you go. Try not to spill anything on them. Keeping busy, Sergius. As always. The Nords don't ever stop. Wanting things and... Chanted. At least it's more money for the college. Perhaps. Just means more work for me. I don't want to see you treating any of these books poorly. Are we clear? Aye, that's the work of Septimus Cygnus. He's the world's master of the nature of Elder Scrolls, but, well, he's been gone for a long while. Too long. Oh no. I hope not, but even I haven't seen him in years, and we were close. He came obsessed with the Dwemer, took off north saying he had found some old artifact. Haven't seen him since. Somewhere in the ice fields, if you want to try to find him. Oblivion and back, as they say.
big dwemer in the beyond. I'll know your lost unknown and rise to your depths. Elder Scrolls, indeed. The Empire, they absconded with them. Or so they think. The ones they saw. Ah, the ones they thought they saw. I know of one. Forgotten. Sequestered. But I cannot go to it, not poor Septimus. For I, I have arisen beyond its grasp. Oh, I am well. I will be well. Well to be within the will inside the walls. Here. Well here as in this plain. Mondas, Tamriel, nearby. Relatively speaking. <laughs> On the cosmological scale, well, it's all nearby. A brutish one. <laughs> Septimus has no fear of you. But as one block raises another, perhaps ourselves could help us each. You see this masterwork of the Dwemer, deep inside their greatest knowings. Septimus is clever among men. But he is but an idiot child compared to the dullest of the Dwemer. Lucky then they left behind their own way of reading the Elder Scrolls. In the depths of Black Reach, one yet lies. Have you heard of Black Reach? Cast upon where Dremer City slept, the yearning spire hidden learnings kept. <laughs> Under deep, below the dark, the hidden keep, Tower Mzark. Oftan, the point of puncture, a first entry of the tapping. Delve to its limits, and Black Reach lies just beyond. But not all can enter there. Only Septimus knows the hidden key to loose the lock to jump beneath the deathly rock. Two things I have for you. Two shapes. One edged, one round. The round one for tuning. Dwemer music is soft and subtle and needed to open their cleverest gates. The edged lexicon for inscribing. To us, a hunk of metal. To the Dwemer, a full library of knowings, but empty. Find Mazark and its sky dome. The machinations there will read the scroll and lay the lore upon the cube. Trust Septimus. He knows you can know. An observant one. How clever to ask of Septimus. This Dwemer lockbox. Look upon it and wonder. Inside is the heart. The heart of a god. The heart of you and me. But it was hidden away. Not by the dwarves, you see. They were already gone. Someone else, uh, unseen, unknown, found the heart, and with a flair for the ironical, used dwarven trickery to lock it away. The scroll will give the deep vision needed to open it. For not even the strongest machinations of the Dwemer can hold off the all sight given by an Elder Scroll. The deepest doors of Dwemer listen for singing. It plays the attitude of notes proper for opening. Can you not hear it? Too low for hearings? To glimpse the world inside an Elder Scroll can damage the eyes 
or the mind as it has to Septimus. The Dwemer found a loophole, as they always do, to focus the knowledge away and inside without harm. Place the lexicon into their contraption and focus the knowings into it. When it brims with glow, bring it back and Septimus can read once more. Dawn, I'm behind you. I know you are trying to keep it for yourself, Cesar. You always try to keep it for yourself. No, there's got to be more. Shut up, shut up. Don't lie to me, Cesar. Always try. Cesar,
his breath. Another of this move. You can't win this!
To oblivion and back, as they say. waiting for me to turn my back, so you can have all the glory for yourself. Never should have stopped here! <laughs> To oblivion and back, as they say. Lead on, I'm behind you. To oblivion and back, as they say. <laughs> <laughs> 